We want to let machines see, sense, and understand their surroundings like humans. Our GOD network is like the eyes and visual cortex of this four-wheeled robot. Innovation is something which goes beyond what was already known and used by mankind in certain fields of technology. The higher the technology you wish to improve, the more parallel developments you need, the more players you need in the world who work on all this, because not one person alone, not one company alone can do this. The more patents a company files, the more offers to mankind it makes to share. Tell me a bit about yourself. My name is Su Pang. I'm 30 years old. I have a PhD in Electronic Information Engineering from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. My main research interests are computer vision and artificial intelligence. Simply put, it's about helping machines see and understand the world. When you got your PhD, what made you choose Huawei as the company to work for? Well, first of all, I've always dreamt of creating a robot as intelligent as a human. And intelligent vehicles, which are intelligent mobile terminals, are the perfect opportunity for me. And Huawei has a wealth of expertise in the R&D of intelligent automotive technologies. So I think it was a sensible decision to join Huawei. Now you're working on something called G-O-D, which is Technological General Obstacle Detection. Yes, G-O-D is short for General Obstacle Detection. With a G-O-D network, vehicles can identify different types of objects and make inferences like human drivers. It can start learning about different items by itself, is that correct? Right. Traditional AI detection models are based on 3D bounding boxes, which rely on manual annotation, but these boxes struggle with representations. Some irregular objects, like a big truck in the middle of turning, two-car vehicles, fallen guardrails, and so on, cannot be represented with 3D bounding boxes, which are usually rectangles. Our GOD network is different. It uses voxelization, which means voxel grids, to represent the physical world in 3D. This can accurately represent different object locations. Our GOD network eschews traditional manual annotation and teaches vehicles how to identify vehicles and people. Our hundreds of millions of kilometers of driving data is fed into the GOD network, which performs self-learning. So far, the amount of data trained has increased by two or three orders of magnitude over the old model. What do you think the biggest advantage autonomous driving will bring to people? AI drivers are not hindered by emotion and exhaustion. Studies show that vehicles with AI drivers are on average less likely to have collisions than vehicles with only human drivers. And tell me a bit more about that safety enhancement. Is there a high point in the development you can talk about? What left the strongest impression on me was the beta test of the GOD network. When I was conducting my first drive test, a dog rushed out suddenly. If a traditional AI perception system had been used, it would not have been able to identify that it was a dog. But our GOD network accurately sensed that it was a moving object and triggered active braking. Actually, I, th I think it's really interesting that it, it's just phenomenal to think what it might be like in, in 10 or 20 years or, or, you know, what my grandchildren will experience. It will be a very different world to it is today, like it's a very different world. As a researcher in computer vision and AI, I can clearly feel the speed of technological advancement. I believe that a fully connected, intelligent world is the way forward. This will free us from having to do mechanical and repetitive work, allowing us to focus on the arts, science, and tech, which will require human creativity, and which I think reflect the value of humanity. <laughs>